how much do you have saved for retirement compared to most of America? I'm going to go through some shocking statistics right here, and you can figure out where you stand. Hi, this is Wes Moss, and welcome to Money Matters. Super important study that just came out from Fidelity and Vanguard, two very different studies, and they paint a pretty interesting picture about retirement savings in America. Let me go through a couple of statistics, though, that talk about how much money the average American or what the retirement landscape looks like in America. Here's the data. In Fidelity's latest assessment of retirement savings in America, they show that the average or the mean savings in retirement plans is $103,700. So let's call it a little over $100,000. Vanguard's most recent study says something pretty similar. They say that the average American or the, the mean average is about $92,000 saved for retirement. But in that same report, Vanguard adds the median balance, and the median balance is much, much lower. The median balance in the Vanguard study is about $22,000. What's a more accurate number? Well, really, we've got to explore the difference between the median and the mean. And the reality here is if you look at these numbers, the median data from Vanguard, that is the middle point of the data set, is actually much more indicative of what the retirement situation really looks like here in America. So the numbers are a lot lower than the mean. Fidelity study at over 100,000, the Vanguard study at 92,000. Really the Vanguard median number at 22,000 paints a more realistic picture. Let's go back and, and look at median versus mean for just a second. Uh, let me give you an example. If we looked at the average or the mean of 10 people, let's say one person is Warren Buffett's uh, nephew and he has a million dollars, and then you have nine other folks that have a dollar in savings. Well, the mean number, the average, still looks pretty solid. If you do the math, you take a million and nine dollars divided by 10, you get $100,000.90. The average person has $100,000 essentially, when in reality, one person has a million and the other nine people have a dollar. If you were to look at the median data, and, and the way I remember this from statistics class is that you line up each number and you take the middle point. So you would line up uh, across a page, a million, and then nine ones, and you take the center point of that. The center point would be a dollar. This example shows us that there's a huge difference, or what's called skew, between the mean and the median. And when you have such an enormous skew, or positive skew here, uh, that shows that the median data is probably a lot more accurate or indicative of what's happening in America. So the reality here is I look at the statistics and you get lots of numbers thrown around. I think that it's probably more accurate to say from these studies that the average American has about $22,000 saved for retirement on these studies. So if you look at these numbers, it shows to me that it's a much better way to look at what the everyday American has in retirement. It's probably closer to the $22,000 number versus the $100,000 number. While these numbers can be scary, hopefully you're in the camp that has some momentum saving for retirement. In my book, You Can Retire Sooner Than You Think, it shows that you don't need millions and millions of dollars to be able to have a comfortable retirement. The average happy retiree gets to a very important checkpoint in financial planning. This level is, and I'm using median data here in the book because I think that's the most accurate way to look at this, you gotta get to about $500,000. From my research, the median to go from an unhappy to a happy retiree is $500,000 in savings. There's a lot behind that number because it generates or has the potential to generate a certain amount of income per month. You add that to Social Security and possibly a pension, and all of a sudden, you've got a lot of money able to be spent in over a long period of time in retirement. Just remember that everyone's retirement is different and unique, and there's no perfect or one-size-fits-all formula that makes everything work. These are just a couple of really important points that I wanted to share with you today that I see happy retirees do relative to those who don't get to a happy retirement. I hope this video is helpful and this page is helpful. Feel free to forward to a friend or hit subscribe below this video. Thanks so much and have a profitable rest of your day. I hope you found this video helpful. There are lots of other videos on this page that'll help you be a happy retiree. Just hit subscribe right below this video. You can find us or follow us at West Moss Money Matters on Facebook or Instagram, West Moss Money Matters, and Twitter at West Moss 365. Thank you so much.